a very special guest in studio who has a story to tell. Uh, Rory Creedy. Uh, Rory, good morning. Rory, Rory, um, you were in Rathmullen yesterday and you, um, not, not to put too fine a point on it, you saved the lives of three girls. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, tell, 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 tell us the story, the way, because I, I, I've been looking at, at, at the briefing note here and, and this is a phenomenal story. So in, in your own time and in your own way, t t tell, tell us the story. Okay, um, so, so yesterday, uh, myself and the family, my wife and my daughter Eve, she's three, and my niece Sophie and sister Deirdre, we all headed off to the beach. A uh, very busy day at the beach, um, you know, usual, you know, sunbathing, ice creams, um, you know, taking a few dips in the, in the water. Um, so it was coming towards the end of the day and I decided I'll, I'll go back in for another another quick dip um, before we go. So I started to walk towards the beach and I kind of noticed it was very busy. So I was scanning the beach looking for a gap in the water, you know, that I could mm. make my way in and not be on top of anyone, you know. Yeah. Um, and what it was a little bit quieter over where the ferry pulls in yeah. on the ramp. Okay. Uh, in hindsight, that's not the best place to go for a dip. And there is signs and there's flags and everything. But I just, just whatever reason, I just I thought I'm going in for a paddle or walk. And there was people already in there as well. Uh, so I went in and I was I walked into my hips and I was you know the usual you're trying to build up the courage to uh, take your dip you know it's going to be cold and you're thinking you know kind of edging in slowly and then I noticed uh, a few meters in the distance it was three girls were struggling in the water um, so one of the girls was completely under um, and then I saw the panic in one of the other little girls' faces and she she just. You know, I could tell she was tired. Uh, she was yeah. asking for help. So I went in towards them um, and then quickly became, like, realized, oh, I'm, out, I'm completely out of my depth here. There's no, um, I can't feel the sand anymore, which was kind of, I didn't realize how deep it was going to get, how fast yeah. it was going to get deep. Um, so I put my arm around the first girl and then I kind of, I had my kind of two, I had two of them, um, you know, from behind, like uh, at the shoulders. And the girl that was submerged, I was like, I don't know what, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have to bring the two girls in and then come back yeah. for the third girl. But she, um, but somehow the third girl managed to hang on to the leg of one of the other girls. So as we were paddling back, she just comes up through the yeah. top, <gasps> takes a big breath. Um, but then it, it became apparent, like, I've got three people here. Um, I'm not making any progress very fast yeah. and I started to get into trouble myself um, I was going under a lot myself but I was you know trying to let them use me as as a yeah. uh, buoyancy aid or whatever and um, at one time I had to break away from them and come back to them um, I was trying to get underneath them because I could reach the floor um, yeah. so I was pushing them up and I was very conscious of this girl that was under she was mostly under and I was afraid of her like if she you know yeah. um, but somehow we got in but the whole time we were we were paddling in I was trying to shout for help nobody noticed and it felt like nobody noticed anything anyway um, the, the current was taking me towards the pier as yeah. well so I was as I was moving and kicking I was felt like I was making very little progress I was almost staying in the one spot but also being pulled into the deeper water behind yeah. the ramp um, so even even if somebody th could have thrown me, a t it was a point where even a t-shirt, you know, yeah. would have pulled us all in. Um, but we got in, we got in anyway. Um, and and you you managed to do it under your own steam, uh, even though you had been. I mean, you'd been calling for help, and and they had been calling for help. I mean, some you, you reckon some some of the people around the beach actually assumed you were messing. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I I went to talk to somebody like the girls ran to their their parents. Um, and I just stayed at the side to catch my breath. And my instinct was just to ask everybody then that was around. There was loads of people around. Yeah. Um, did you see that? Like, you know, did you see what just happened? Yeah. And, and oblivious. There was a guy on his phone. He said, I'm so sorry. I didn't see anything. There was another guy there sitting on the ramp. And he said, I thought you knew them. I don't know what he meant by that. But he probably just meant that I thought this was just, you know, yeah. play or something. So I suppose it's just um, 
just to be aware of that particular area and the beach and yeah. And and you you didn't know the girls. I mean, have you spoken to them since, or spoken to their families, or, or um, spoken to their parents? Or yeah, I went up to the parents initially afterwards, and you know we we're all in a bit of shock, and I think it was just all a bit raw at that point. Mm. Um, so we just said, "Is the girls okay?" And they were okay, and they were a bit shook or whatever. But um, they came back up to me then because we were sitting, you know, uh, close quite close to each other on the beach. So they came back up towards the, uh, about maybe an hour later. And we talked about it a bit m more in depth then, and just you know, everybody was a bit emotional and stuff yeah. like that. And and, and, and it, it it's quite clear that, that you're still feeling. I mean, you know, you, you this is not something you just pass off nonchalantly and go about on no. about your day. I mean, it's not like this is having a huge yeah. impact on you yeah, too. Yeah, like you don't see you, you see it on TV. You don't. Yeah. It's uh, very different um, when you're in those kind of situations. And 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 you're conscious too that you know. It could have been a bad outcome for them, but I mean, you know, and and let's call a spade a spade. It could have been a bad a, a bad outcome for you too, because I mean, the way you were being pulled in toward that jetty and that that current that's going against you, you know, had you been pulled in there, that could have put you at risk. Yeah, that became that like I was very confident at the start, and you can imagine that confidence just getting smaller and smaller as the yeah. event went on, um, and you're kind of thinking, oh God. Like, yeah, and 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 I'm sure I'm I'm not sure how much sleep you had last night. No, I'm not I, I sure. Suspect, I'm very I my eyes. <laughs> yeah, and it, 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 it's but I mean you know, and obviously it, it's going to take a while, you know, for you to come to terms with the enormity of this, and and you know, somewhere down the line, I I would I would be very surprised if there wasn't some form of recognition and so on and so forth. But that's obviously for another day. And, you know, that's maybe a conversation that we'll have. And, and maybe at some point in the future, we'll, we'll have the conversation again when when the initial emotional shock of it is gone. But I mean, Rory, uh, you know, all, all I can say is, look, there are three people alive. You know, today. well, there's four people alive today, but there are three girls alive today that might not be alive were it not for you. And, you know, that's that that's once you've processed that knowledge. I mean, I think you you can, you know, you know yourself that, that you have saved lives here and, and that is a phenomenal thing and look fair fair play to you and, and well done to you and again it, it I don't know if you heard any of the show earlier on we were speaking to John mm -hmm. McCarter from the RNLI and he was saying look if you're ever on the side of the water and you see a potential situation mm -hmm. if don't he said don't ever think I wonder what if maybe mm, should I okay. always make the call Okay. Said, always so, call. I mean, the first thing you do is you call nine 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 and you make the call and say there there is a problem. And as he said, look, if we get called out on a lifeboat and it turns out it's a log floating in the water, happy we days. are happy yes. to turn back. But you know, and and what you did yesterday is a salutary, and this is a very practical and salutary lesson that if you you saw people in trouble and, and you responded, and I think that's a piece of self knowledge that that you can, with, I'd say the word pride, that you can you know. That when you were faced with a situation, you, you reacted that way and look, um, hats off, um, you know, well, 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 well done. It, 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 it's a hard, and I know it, it's, it's hard to process it's, this. It's rough, yeah. It is, and and it's going to take a while, I'm sure. And you know, maybe from your own point of view, maybe it wouldn't do any harm to sit down and, and talk to someone about it. Yeah, but I've look, you that, you yeah. will do so in the knowledge that you have saved lives, and and that is a special, precious thing. Well, thank you, Rory. Thank you indeed. Thanks very um, much. And, you know, and just uh, just the message: just be careful. Look yeah, out for uh, each absolutely, other. Absolutely, totally. Stay away from that pe that uh, yeah. ramp. It's dangerous. Um, stay within between the flags. Yeah. If you see somebody struggling, tell somebody before you go. If there's anybody close by, just yeah. tell them. Rory Creedy, thank you indeed for speaking to us, and thank you for what you've done. Thanks. Um, I, I, I can I can think of, of nothing else to say and really I think there, there is nothing else to say except thank you to all our participants on the show today. 